2007. Um, this is a game. A rather simulation of space shuttles. What else? So, um, we're going to space, I think. I hope we can manage. Um, yeah, we'll start with STS-1, which will take enough time, I think. Um, I've printed out a checklist here, as you can hear. This um, it's like a 13 page checklist of everything that needs to be done. It's quite a lot, actually, to get there, to get back, actually. I forget getting back. Um, so, yeah, this is STS 1, which is Columbia before it sadly disintegrated. Um, so you can see here what the mission is going to be. Launch from Kennedy Space Center. Launch pad 39A. Orbiting at 166 nautical cop miles of sea level. Uh, orbital inclination of 40.3 degrees, I think that is. Uh, thinking 37 orbits. It will take us 2 days, 6 hours, 20 minutes and 53 seconds. After that we'll be landing at Edwards Air Force Base. Um, so this mission is really to see whether or not space flight and space shuttles is a thing that is possible, if it's a viable thing. So we'll carrying a lot. We'll be carrying a lot of uh, instrumentation to check all that out. We get development flight instrumentation pallet. Yeah, yeah. Equipment for shuttle performance monitoring. Aerodynamic coefficient indication package, still entry air data system, well, all that kind of stuff, measuring everything. So, um, we just start at the beginning. Launch T minus one hour 50 minutes in naught seconds, which is okay, where the astronauts enter the shuttle, which is right here. No, no I don't want to load anything. I think that was F10. Uh, anyway. Okay, so T minus one hour fifty minutes, one seconds. There we go. Let's enter the space shuttle. So here we go. I'll be primarily, primarily, using the mouse to just click on things. Which is all I'm doing, clicking on buttons. So I'm guessing I'm Commander John W. Jung. This is Pilot Robert L. Crippen. Next to me. Don't you dare ask if we're there yet. Um, and we've got a new message. Um, I need to find a button actually. Is it? Oh, yeah. The astronauts enter the space shuttle. So, we've got a time skip option so we don't have to do the full two days and six hours. We can skip until the next message. Um, after which, we need to do stuff. Which I have my checklist for. So yeah, I'm really into space flight and everything, astronomy, that kind of stuff. So I really love this simulation of game. It was supposed to be a second version, so space shuttle mission simulator two, something like that. Still hasn't come out. And that was in 2010, I think. Oh, there we go. Right. So. We've got a no-go because we need to do something. Message activate the commander's communication system. So we're we'll going to the overhead panel. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, six. This panel overhead five. So go to this panel. Set left audio. Exmit. Icon mode to Fox Fox. Okay. Studio AG one and two to TR. One and two to TR. Okay. Left audio AA to TR. And Icon A and B to TR. Which is just that, so we'll be turning on 
uh, and left audio AUD power switch to AUD tone. So Columbia, this is off control. Do you read? Columbia, loud and clear. Over. There we go. Columbia, out. Okay, good. So that's on. So that's the commander radio communications. Yeah, so I'm the commander. Set up properly. Good. So we'll skip the time to the next message, which will be uh, setting up his controls actually. Uh, communications, <laughs> not controls. So, yeah, as I was saying, I really love this kind of thing simulation, space flight, especially with all the buttons, pilot's communication system, so that is, now I know, um, get that to there, all these up, and, Columbia, power, do you read? Roger that, now. Good. Okay, we are go. I really love simulations, I play a lot of flight simulator too. You know, a bit of the online stuff, which was actually really hard. Communication with everyone and not being able to understand them. Just repeating over and over again, saying, say again, please. Please say again. Yeah. It was horrid. But it was fun at the same time. I used to do it with a friend. A flight joke and everything. <laughs> All things set up. He was my co-pilot most of the time. So it's play audio and everything. <laughs> we had really crappy hardware though. Like really crappy. And now I am launching a space shuttle. Quite the jump, actually. Um Columbia, oh. more aboard advisory jet. Over. What did he say? Aboard advisory check, right. Check aboard lights. Go dim bright dim for about eight seconds. Shit. Houston, Columbia, we confirm. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't really see it. Okay. Front left panels should be on. So somewhere here. Oh. Right, it should be one of these, I think. No, that's just my protection. Uh, I really don't know where it's supposed to be. Let me, let me just check that. I just don't know. Report it first, you check. Report light. Should go dim, bright dim for 8 seconds, but it's on panel F6. Where's it? This is F5. Oh, this is F6. This is F6. So, some, this thing just blank, blinked. Okay. Alright. Just confirming that. I have no clue how long this is going to take, but um, I just split it up in multiple videos, doing the pre-launch now. Ascent on orbit, the orbit and landing. And shutdown, shutdown will probably be with the landing, I think. Oh well, let's see. Okay. So, we're closed off now. In the outer world. Hatch is secure. Locked. And closed. <laughs> I love the American accent of that guy. The command Santa guy. Board advisory check. I can't do that. Board. Board. Uh, this said something like that, right? Anyway. It's time. Okay. So we're closing the vents. Um, doing a cabin leak check. On the left panel. Right. So, um. Oh, eleven. Thanks. I think I must be over here. Here somewhere. 
Oh, what is this? So I'm looking for panel L2. Is it down here? Oh wait, it's more. I think it's uh no. L9 12. That's not good. Okay, we've got some time to do this by the way. In case you get the checklist that it's gonna take 15 minutes. So <laughs> I hope I'll be done by then. <laughs> Looking for this oh this is L2, right. Just completely missed it. Um set cap event ISO to close. ISO L. Um So wait, what? Cap and vent isolation. Free and loop isolation. And this kid. No steering that It's not here. I'm looking at the wrong place, I think. Oh, wait. Cabin vent isolation. Too close. So cabin vent too close. Okay, so now the master alarm is going off, um, so I need to find the master, oh, no, <laughs> master alarm button and press it, there we go, Ooh. so the cabin ventilation is completely isolated now, in the outside world. Um, so we'll skip through this. It's gonna take some time until we must check some things. Then reopen the cabin ventilation. Yeah, so that we are actually ventilated in here. Just need to make sure that um, everything is in order before we can launch. Yeah. To check all the alarms, check the ventilation, see it actually is closed now. Um, okay, so after this we need to go to the right panel. Um, in a bit. R2, that's this one, right? Um, GPS system and everything. Okay. Boiler, check boiler power. Um, one, two, and three are on. Uh, uh, so the boiler power <laughs> should be somewhere over here. Boiler, central heater, boiler power, one, two, three are on. Central heater are on. It's this one. They're all on. On A. Yeah, they're on A. Set boiler N2 supply. So the nitrogen supply of the boiler must be set to on. Two. Three. We confirm boiler power on. Over. Roger that. Columbia. Out. Okay. Turn the boilers on. So we've now got. Uh, heating in here, which is also very interesting. Uh, we need that heating. Right, it gets cold in space, so we need boilers to heat us up. Right, lest they blow up, it would be a good thing. So after this, we'll be. Oh. Roger, Captain Van. Over. Okay, so we'll be opening the ventilation system again. So that was over here. Ventil isolation. Wait. Cabin vent vent to open. What? Cabin vent vent to. Oh, that one. Okay. So we keep the, so we keep the isolation on. Closed. Uh, 
Uh, okay, ju we're just checking things now. Because we need Columbia, to that control, activate backup flight system. Copy that, backup flight system to enable. Okay, backup flight system must be set to on now. So that is on central 3. Which is. Oh, right. No. <laughs> These buttons. Right here. Uh, central 3 set. Back of flight system set on. Um, let me see. BFC CRT display to on is at 3 plus 1. Yes, that is correct. So we now need to enter into the commander's computer item 25. Execute on the left keeper. That's item two five. Uh, execute. Execute. Okay. So the backup flight system is now operational. That's good. Copy primary avionics software to the backup flight system. Yeah, okay, so now the backup flight system is running on the same avionics system as the primary flight system. Let me just adjust this a bit, I'm sorry. There we go. Um, so that we don't want to get any problem with that. If we need to go and use it, we won't be on the wrong avionics that would just mess everything up once it kicks in would be bad like real bad yeah if it's the suddenly started using Columbia, other data okay there we go again stupid fence now we change it up so we close the cabin vent and we open the vent isolation and check Oh, 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 wait, 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 oh, if I had one. Uh, shit, where's our one? Oh, yeah, here. So we need to notice a drop. No, not a drop. We need to check our one for the cabin DPDT coach. So that's this one. So the change in pressure over time, I think. So I'm gonna. So the pressure isn't changing. So this is the derivative of p over time. I think so. If it is negative, we see a change in the depressurization. But there isn't. There's no change in pressure at all. I think that's all. I don't really understand that, but DPDT looks like a derivative of function P using argument T. So that would be pressure over time. Something like that. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know everything, okay? Uh, let's keep skipping. Just so that. We get to the next thing where we need to close up the vent isolation. I'm getting real tired of these isolations. These vents. Okay, so nothing changed, which is a good thing. So we close the cabin vent isolation. And keep the cabin vent closed. Check if it is closed. It is closed, isn't it? Yeah, it is closed. I'll be right back. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we astronauts don't have package delivery women disturb them <laughs> during pre-launch checklists. Um, this is all pre-launch. Okay, I paused. <laughs> okay. 
good. Oh, we just did something. I think. That was... Oh, the vent isolation. Again. Reselling that, so it's now properly set. Okay, normally there's a plan <laughs> hold. But co for convenience, it is not implemented here. Okay. Uh, you're supposed to... Yeah, okay. Um, so on the right keypad, we need to enter OPS. OPS 101. Oh, pro. He's not a noob. He's a pro. 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 Oh, there. there it is. OPS 101. Complete. Okay, and spec 9 9 Pro. on the non BFS display so this is not the backup flight system this is now the backup flight system display for some reason and uh, press resume there we go there we go we closed it okay OPS one oh one one mode um yes well uh clear resume pro execute item I reset there's no mode button is there what the um pro we can okay. Okay. okay we've now loaded the OPS one flight plan okay that's it out what happened right okay so we've loaded the flight plan into the computer so that we can fly this thing so it knows what to do. Like me. Just following the checklist. You know where the buttons are. Uh, just get this right. Okay. Okay. This is gonna get interesting. Now we're starting the engine basically. Main propulsion system, MPS. So helium isolation A must be opened on the right panel so right to is right here so the helium isolation A must be opened up A and B must be opened up right. okay good okay left right and center opened pneumatics helium isolation next helium isolation open Set six engine power switches left, right, and center to on, which is six switches. Right? So there should be six <laughs> engine power. Oh, the, uh, okay. On, 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 on. This is Columbia. Okay, we have started the helium pressurization so that we can start up the engines. Basically, that's what's happening. We're closing in on the time. This is drawing to an end. The first checklists. So it hasn't got hectic, hectic yet, right? Okay, that is happening. Not this one. Okay, so this uh, next operation is going to be at t minus 15 minutes, right? And after that is t minus 9 minutes, and it's like on three different panels. And 
couple of actions, and after that it is eight minutes. Um, it's just <laughs> it's gonna get hectic, right? Real quick after this. So there we go. Oh shit! So where was it again? I forgot. Oh oh oh! Wait, it was here. No, it was the master. There we go. Abort. Shoot. Okay. Right. So we'll let that on off for 8 seconds. Set caution warning memory to clear the central panel. So we're clearing the system of any any warnings that it may have had in the past during this checklist. And I'll just throw that all out. Um, I just need to find the pen. Clear the memory. C3. There's somewhere here there should be a button to clear the memory. That thing. But uh, oh, there we go. Why is it here? I mean, uplink, lighting, and here's the caution warning memory. Clear the damn thing. There we go, that's cleared. Okay. Okay, so at nine minutes I need to be... Okay, let's just get there already. On panel R1. Okay, okay. Quick. I've got a minute to do this, right? So on R1, I need to find the ESS bus source. ESS bus source, main BC, main CA, main AB, on, 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 on. Right, that's that. Now, on C3. Oh, so the time has stopped. Okay, so I need to actually put the timer, my timer, so the, right, to nine minutes, four, five, six, nine minutes, and now, okay, so basically we're now setting timer switch to set, so we've set the timer, check event timer mode, is down, yes, and set event time control to start. Event time control. Okay, so, okay, so add more time than I thought I had. I would have said this much earlier, right? And the only time I need is at nine minutes. But okay. Columbia. Start. Roger. Event time activated. Okay, so we've got the timer activated. Confirm event time display continues to countdown. On F7, just like um, I've got a clue what that is. F6 on F. Oh, there it is. That's the event timer. So yeah, that is continuing to count. Then we've got a minute to go. Just skip through that. Wait, I'm just going to the right. Right, right, right panel, which is the right panel. No, R2. It need to be at R2. This is on control. The track crew access on active. We confirm. Go for APU, please start. Okay, so the arm is now disconnected. Um, APU fuel, TK12. 1, 2, 3, closed. You need to check that. Let me see. APUs. Full closed, closed, closed. APU auto shut down. Uh, enabled. Hydraulics main pump pressure. Main pump pressure are low. They are. APU speed select one, two, three are normal. They are. 
good hydraulic circulation pump one two three set to gpc so that's yes that is right and the apu central power one two three so into also the air power unit is going on right now central power turning the apus on Lake control columbia apu restart complete columbia wait this time okay Good, good, good. Oh, I'm feeling the adrenaline right here. Oh, okay. I'm actually feeling it. That's like it's astonishing. I don't know why. Maybe I haven't eaten enough today. Good. So, 5 minutes 20. I'm going to really start the AP. Oh, this was the pre start. Uh, pre start. So, access on for crew is now gone. So, somewhere there. Maybe I could have seen it. We copy. Start the APU. Right, so I've got little under a minute for this. Little under a minute? Fuck. Sorry. Um. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> APU fuel. Uh, no, yeah. Four, one, two, three. APU fuel. Open, open, open. APU uh, hydraulics ready to start. One, two, three repeaters are white. Uh, it's uh, white. Yes, they are white. Good set. APU operate one, two, three to start run. APU. Uh, where is that? Where is that? What am I looking for? Oh, start run. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now on the front central panel. No, 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 no. F seven. Oh, it's paused again to allow me to do this properly. That's actually really nice of it. Uh, check your hydraulic pressure. Oh god! Check hydraulic pressure at 900 psi. So okay, something is going on. <laughs> god! Oh god! Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I need to check really quick. Hydraulic APU pressure. What the hell is that? MFD2. Right, MFD2. APU. Hydraulic pressure APU. Hydraulic APU pressure. It isn't, is it? It's not good. Something is wrong. Hydraulic. Pressure. Pressure for that. Okay, let me just. Main pressure. Oh, shit. Everything is going down now. <laughs> I'm so glad it is paused. So I need to set the hydraulic main pressure bump. The pump pressure 1, 2, 3, 2, normal. Main pressure. Main pressure to normal, so it should now rise. But it isn't rising. I may have forgotten something. Press master alarm if required. I'm fine with that. That's better. I mean... Okay. I'm just gonna go with it. Hydraulic circulation point one to three off. Still on a no-go. Shit, so the APUs haven't started. Okay, set the APU fuel TK valve to open. Set the APU operators to start run. But why aren't they starting? And then. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Oh god. 
Maybe you feel CK valve one two three to open. They are open. Right? They are. Maybe you central power. Is that on? It is on. Okay, so they are now ready to start. I think everything should be in order, so I can now start them. No, I hope this is alright. Okay, something happened. Oh yes, the pressure is oh finally. Fucking finally. Pressure is nine hundred psi. Good. Nine hundred psi pressure, then we will uh, what do we do then? Hydraulic main pump pressure to normal. Okay, now it should rise to much higher. Okay, master alarm sounds. Turn it off until it reaches um, Columbia, three thousand. It is. Columbia, good. Off. good. So, finally. Took some time, but now we're onto something. Okay, um, so the next thing we're doing is um, shutting off the external supply of energy. Um, to continue on. Internal energy. Right. The APU is full. Internal power. And the left panels is flash EVAP. Feed line. Feed line HDR. AMP supply to off. Okay. Because there is no longer a feed line supply. We are on internal power. APU check complete. Turn off flash evaporator feed line and heat is supply and that's what it is. Okay. Now a lot of checks will go on. Alright, uh, okay. This is on control. APU check complete. Roger plate APU check complete now. We're doing the hydraulics check after this. Columbia, initiate hydraulics yeah, over. Roger plate control. Gimbal check of the engines. Gimbal gimbal is something about the amount of direction. Can move or something. I have never really understood it, you know. It is like really complicated. Something about the gimbal lock is something about locking the one locking off one direction, the engine can move in. So basically rendering it useless. I don't know. I don't understand gimbal. Please explain it to Columbia, me. This is on control. Hydraulic complete. Columbia, Houston. Okay. External oxygen vents are closing. External tank begins to pressurize. External cap is retracted. Around external internal oxygen. We can't plate control. Okay. Oh. Disable the auto shut down. Yeah, it says AC bus S. NSR one two three two monitor. Um, wait, what? <laughs> so the AC bus. God. AC bus SNSR two monitor. Is it caution point memory to clear? Again. Um, was caution warning memory clear um what why have we forgotten oh to shut down is inhibited oh two and three okay there's three of them Okay. 
Okay then. Here we go. Columbia Black Patrol. Hydrogen pressure on. You are go for launch. Roger, go for launch. Columbia, now at T minus 80 seconds and counting. You are go for launch. Okay, we go for launch. <sighs> Counting down. 17, 16, 50, 16, 50. Yeah, got a long second. Is that two second seconds? Is that because I'm running at. Why am I running at 15 FPS? <laughs> Interesting. Okay. One minute. Okay. <laughs> that is. One minute. We're pausing the game. One minute. Okay, wait. There we go. <laughs> one minute, what? Minus one second is where we are pausing, and I will see you next time. Where we'll. Let me try that again. I will see you next time. That. I will see you next time, where we'll be launching a space shuttle. After having done the uh, pre-launch checklist, we will be launching. So, take that for cliffhanger. We are Columbia before it blew up. <coughs> I'm sorry, that's grim. <laughs> Goodbye.